From the inception of No Holds Barred competition, the name Gracie took centre stage. Hicks and Gracie effortlessly ran through the Valet Tudo Japan cards of the early 90s, and Hoist Gracie achieved more notoriety by winning four Ultimate Fighting Championship tournaments in the United States. The Gracies demonstrated that the clinch was hard to avoid altogether, and once the fight got to the ground, a whole new set of skills were needed. Even the most accomplished fighters were as helpless as newborns there. When Kazushi Sakuraba arrived, everything changed. Most didn't understand the rules and techniques of the ground game in any depth at that time, but even the most casual observer could see that although he was fighting on the ground like a Gracie, he was doing something altogether different, something often more showy and exciting, but which won him fights all the same. Sakuraba was an amateur wrestler through school who had gone into a career of professional wrestling. While training as a pro, he received tuition from the Wigan-taught catch wrestling great, Billy Robinson. In the course of this series, we will give time to Sakuraba's low singles, his work against the guard, and his arm bars. But the weapon which came to symbolize Sakuraba and catch wrestling in the modern era was the double wrist lock or Kimura. The name Kimura harkens back to Masahiko Kimura, a legendary judoka. Kimura's training plan was fanatical. Some stories have him bunny hopping a mile a day before practice and knocking out his training partners with his osotogari, or large outer reap. While touring Brazil, Kimura was challenged by Helio Gracie to a match where only submission or loss of consciousness would determine the victor. Kimura manhandled Gracie, a well-respected figure in his country, and broke Gracie's arm with the Gyaku Udegarami, or reverse arm winding hold. The hold became known as the Kimura in Gracie Jiu Jitsu, and the loss was quickly spun into a moral victory for the Gracie clan. In wrestling, the Kimura is known as the double wrist lock. Where an arm lock is a hold that locks out the arm, the double wrist lock seems to be named for the way that the two wrists are locked onto one of the opponents. For Masahiko Kimura, the Gyaku Udegarami had been a finishing hold, applied when already dominating the opponent from top position. For Sakuraba, the double wrist lock or Kimura was available from everywhere. In the positional hierarchy of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, the worst thing a fighter could do was to give up his back. Sakuraba showed his back in every fight, just to attack his opponent's hands with the Kimura. The back body lock is the go-to position when a fighter shows his back on the feet. It could be used to lift a fighter off his feet or to trip him back to the mat. Sakuraba's magic happened in the space between back body lock and choke. The opponent had to get their hooks in and get one hand over Sakuraba's shoulder to begin attacking his neck. Sakuraba only had to separate their hands and turn back into them to start threatening them with the Kimura. One way that Sakuraba was able to cut down his opponent's options was to use the ring to his advantage. The ring is to the cage what a tea strainer is to a condom. It fails to contain the action and things always get a bit messy. When his opponent shot in on him, Sakuraba would turn his back and poke his head underneath the top rope. The opponent was already going to struggle to punch Sakuraba's head, but now he was far away from their knees as well, and they were going to struggle to trip him backwards or throw him without him getting caught up in the ropes. Hoist Gracie, after insisting on special rules of his own choosing for his fight with Sakuraba, had no idea how to deal with this. Even when he got frustrated and tried to punch Sakuraba or choke him from standing, the top rope came between him and the catch wrestler. Effectively, Sakuraba had taken away the majority of his opponent's offensive options, and if they tried to release the body lock to work, he had the chance of turning back into them or even attacking a straight arm lock. Often the battle would play out between Sakuraba trying to separate his opponent's hands with the Kimura grip locked, going one-on-one -on -one with both hands on the opponent's wrists, or going two-on-one -on, -one on their top hand to try and peel it off. 
Whenever he was thrown to the mat, Sakuraba was often able to turn his back, go to his wrestler's base, and bounce up immediately because his opponent would almost inevitably grab a hold of the body lock as he bounced up. Even when he was being held down by bigger, stronger opponents, the Kimura was Sakuraba's go-to, to the point that he would begin wrapping one of his opponent's arms, get slammed down on his side, and simply switch to the other arm. If Sakuraba got stuck on his knees or in the turtle, and the opponent shot one arm over his shoulder, Sakuraba would cross grip the wrist and pummel his elbow over the top of the opponent's. This meant that he could attack the Kimura grip and the options off it, but also that his opponent could not choke him with that hand. If Sakuraba's opponent sat back, he could begin to stand up with his outside leg and often got back to his feet, running to put his head through the ropes soon after. By turning back into his opponent as he stood up, Sakuraba could also turn his trailing leg into an elevator and roll back into a sumigiashi throw. Sakuraba could turn opponents over from his knees with the Kimura if he broke their wrists apart and attacked the Kimura as a shoulder lock. But by performing the stand-up, Sakuraba could apply the inside hook and create a sweep, even if the opponent had their hands safely locked. Many of Sakuraba's opponents struggled to put their hooks in when Sakuraba had a Kimura grip, even in the turtle. Enzo Gracie couldn't find a space as Sakuraba clamped his elbows down to his sides and got off his knees to make space, only for Sakuraba to seize the moment, stand up, separate Henzo's wrists and turn back into him, breaking his arm with seconds left to go in the match. Another little Sakuraba trick came when his opponent tried to drag him down with the body lock trip. With the opponent off his feet and with his hips on the mat, Sakuraba would look to control one or both feet, then scoot his butt back over one leg to catch it between his own and transition into a knee bar. He was able to attack Hoist Gracie and Carlos Newton with this technique multiple times. So successful was Sakuraba from the back body lock position that later in his career, even bigger, stronger opponents would shove Sakuraba away the moment that he turned his back. Sakuraba's use of the Kimura from apparently disadvantageous positions carried him to victories over four members of the Gracie family, and even kept him competitive with the larger Halleck Gracie at the age of 103. Where Sakuraba's Kimura seemed to fly in the face of the idea of positional hierarchy at the time, modern grappling has recognised that once the hands are locked, the Kimura or double wrist lock is the position and everything else can swing around that. A basic example of that principle would be Sakuraba using the Kimura grip from the bottom as his opponent passed guard, only to turn to his knees. An example of the modern positional Kimura game would be the Kimura trap. The basic gist of the Kimura trap is that once a fighter is facing the ceiling and the Kimura grip is locked on him, he can only turn in one direction, towards that arm. Where Sakuraba would turn opponents over and chase arm bars as they rolled up into him, modern competitors focus on chopping that elbow out as the opponent tries to roll up onto it, or on throwing in the far hook and pursuing the back. The Kimura as a submission works once the opponent's hand has been passed behind him. The Kimura as a submission is fairly uncommon now, because good fighters keep their hands in front of their body. 
but the Kimura grip and the threat of the submission serve to lock a fighter's hands in place while the legs are free to work. And the Kimura grip has become a go-to response to single leg takedown attempts. This has been episode one of a four-part series on Kazushi Sakuraba. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications if you want to be kept up to date on that. I make these videos for fun and I don't monetize them, but if you want to keep up with my ranting and writing, follow Jack Slack MMA on Twitter or fightprimer.com. Cheers. Thank you.